Right, Bernama News continues. When people talk about remote control vehicles, the thought of it being just another toy comes to mind. However, it is about more than what meets the eye, especially when it comes to remote control tanks. To learn more about the hobby, Bernama journalist Mirza Hassan approached several RC tank enthusiasts to get their thoughts on this interesting hobby and some of its benefits. For tank enthusiast Atlas Lang, remote control tanks can build up a person's self-esteem as well as help people hone skills that are practical in life, forcing one to think outside the box while making several new friends as well. Oh, it's a lot of things. You can learn from technical skill like soldering, wiring and mechanical, basic mechanical skills. Huh? You can, while you play, you can learn to maintain your tank uh, these skills can be helpful in daily life. Uh, you you learn how to open the tanks up and you check what's wrong and you go solve the problem. Uh, you can start by open, open, open the tank up. Never afraid to open the things up. So you can see what's going on inside. Uh, you can just open it up, see what's happening inside. Uh, and that will help you face a lot of problems in real life. Uh, you can take the problem into your own hands rather than uh, asking for help, you know, calling for help. You know, might, other people might be busy with their, their stuff. You know. So it's better to take initiative to handle the problem yourself like, sometimes, uh, but not all the time. Uh. Sometimes better, but they better ask for help. Uh. By playing RC tanks and hooking up with fellow enthusiasts, people can make new friends, which helps boost a person's social skills. So you can get to meet a lot of interesting friends just like here, you see. They come from all walks of life. You know? Some are pilots, some are bankers, some are mechanics, some are... They are also from media industry, uh, some are from normal walk, walks of life, uh. some are like just carpenter. You know? uh, this is a good hobby to learn a lot of things and meet a lot of friends. Uh. Others, such as Fala Abdul Aziz and Zairul Niza, learning about history and the advancement of technology can also be more exciting, especially when it involves a person's favourite tank as well as why such machines are made by their respective countries. You learn about history, that's one thing. Secondly, you learn about the design of the tanks. Okay? For example, uh, you can see how it evolved throughout the years. Uh, I have in front of me, like for this, this is an example of a T-34, uh, which is a Russian tank that was built during the World War II. Okay? Uh, you can see the design aspects uh, in comparing this from something that was designed in the 70s. Uh, was it 70s? I think it was the 70s, yeah, right? 60s, uh, 60s, 70s. And something that was designed much later uh, in the 90s. Okay, and this one was about 80s. in the 80s. Okay, for example, uh, the T-34, which was designed during the World, uh, World War II. Why it was designed this way is because the Russians wanted to build something fast, something quick to counter the German attack. Okay, and something cheap, something reliable. So throughout the history of this T-34, what they did was they built a lot of them. So they built something like what 20, 30,000 of them to uh, at one go. And it was designed very simple, very basic. They just wanted the tanks to work. This hobby can also help in terms of sharpening their hand and eye coordination, as well as teaching people to work as a team. What is different in RC tank, which basically a lot of people can learn, even my, my son does this, uh, the coordination, right? It's something you can learn, right? Because tanks, you don't just move left and right, right? Even the turret moves left and right, right? Even and circle. Elevate. And also it elevates the turret. So it is a coordination and, and in any battle like we simulated previously, it's always in a team, right? It's a team coordination, SPD Corps, right? So we work as a team. So that's another thing, right? It's not just going around, it is communication. So it teaches a lot in terms of the teams that we have, right? In terms of where we play, uh, in terms of communication, in terms of coordination. Meanwhile, for Stanley, his hobby and passion for RC tanks took him down the entrepreneurial route as he now owns and manages a remote control tank shop in Shah Alam. I always have the entrepreneur uh, spirit in me. Uh, I can see what works and I suppose I, I could see the potential. Uh, you know? when, when I'm, I'm in, into a hobby and I, I saw the potential for it and I saw no one really doing it as a specialist. Everybody's selling it, but nobody is providing the specialist service like we do. So I decided to start this business in 2016. 
And here we are now, seven years later. Remote control tanks is not only fun, but also educational. Mr. Hassan, Bernama TV.